My name's Quentin, this is Trade Log, and today we're gonna learn how to reconcile 1099B. Before we start, it is important to know that this step must be done before you file your taxes. Your data must be verified to ensure what you are reporting to the IRS is correct. The resulting report is for your records and is not sent to the IRS. It is only for the purpose of helping ensure that TradeLog's data is accurate. So how do we reconcile a 1099B? Well, if you have multiple accounts, you need to reconcile each one individually. So we will click on this broker account. Then in the top left, we will click reports. And in the tax analysis section, we will click reconcile 1099B. The 1099B information window will pop up. And on the right, you will see 1099B details section. This section allows you to change the default trade log settings depending on your broker 1099B. For more information on what each of these settings mean, you can click the Get More Info button. Also, if you didn't receive a 1099B for this account because you elected mark to market or because of another reason, then just check the box No 1099B here at the top and then click OK to save your information and exit. And you would actually be done with this process. However, if you did receive a 1099B, then go ahead and pull that up right now. What we want to do is find the gross proceeds. Typically, your broker provides this total on a summary section as box or line 1D. If your broker does not provide a total, you may have to total each subsection of your 1099B, depending on how your broker reports. TradeLog needs the total of all gross proceeds on the 1099B both for covered and non-covered securities. When we look at this 1099B, we can see in the Summary of Proceeds section, in the Proceeds column, that the grand total is $83,525.19. We will take that number and type it into the Proceeds Amount box. Then, in the bottom right, we will click Run 1099. A reconciliation report is created and as we see here, our difference is zero, which is perfect. Now, sometimes you may see a difference and we do cover how to handle that situation in another video. But since this reconciliation is good, we can close this window and move on to our next account. Once you have finished all accounts, you are done and can move to the next step. You now know how to reconcile with your 1099B.